Hey guys, what is up? DarthCJ1117 here, and today I have a special episode of GTA Online Outfits to you. So we have Jason Statham, and I'm showing you how to make your character look like him inside of the character creator, and a few really cool outfits for him. So first to get in, of course, you want your sex to be male for heritage, you want your mom to be Nicole, and the dad to be Nico. Now for the skin tone and resemblance, you can see where the sliders are on the screen. So just adjust them to where they are as of that then four features you have all these features here brow eyes all that stuff you can see where i have the dot in the box below with all the grid lines and all that so just pause on all these if you need to but i do go through it slowly kind of speed up towards the end um but yeah just to copy all of this and then after doing that and the features and appearance and all that stuff you'll go look a lot like jason Statham. as you can see i have them here so I'm just going to leave you guys, do this stuff, and then I'll see you at the next part. So, next up for the appearance, first up for your hair, you want close shape on the color 23. And for your eyebrows, you want fade away on number 26. For facial hair, you want the trimmed beard also on 26. For skin blemishes, you want nothing. For skin aging, you want the crow's nest, which adds like little crow claw marks, sort of thingies um, at the edge of the eyes. For now, full opacity, then for everything else, you want nothing until you get to the eyes, which you want to make dark brown. So then after that you want no makeup, no lipstick, and then basically that is it. So for the first outfit here, we have a suit, it's called the father, and we have the black black cap as he always wears. So that is one outfit right there, just showing you a few in-game here in a second. So as you can see, it's quite a nice outfit, really cool suit, and it really suits um, Jason, I think. Really cool outfit. So for the first custom outfit really here, this was from one of the scenes in Expendable 3. I can't remember if it was like halfway through or at the end or something. But they were all in a bar and this is what he was wearing. So first up for the pants, if you want the fade, faded light blue jeans, then for your shirt or top, you want to have the black vest with the silver vest shirt. Then for your shoes on here, there's a couple of op options, you can have the Eris black sneakers as always, or you can have the navy canvas shoes. And then that is basically it, of course you have the black flat cap still, you can take that off if you want, and you can also put a scarf and a watch on even. So anyway, moving on to the next outfit here, we have like a fully militarized version, sort of based this off of what he wore in Expendables 3 as well, as you can see it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, first of all, for your pants, of course, as you can tell, we have the black team combat pants. Then for your shirt, we have the grey combat sweater under team tops. Of course, we have the black flat cap again. You can take that off if you want, as always. Then for the shoes, you don't have any because those come with the pants. Then I have the black tactical gloves and the black scarf and then when well, I'm pretty sure it's either the standard or the uh, light body armor so that is basically it for this video guys I'll just wait until it goes through so you can see where all these things are in the browsing category but overall I reckon this is a pretty cool outfit and um, you may have seen it at the start actually on the board he was holding <coughs> It said Beth, that is because I did use this for Beth before when I did Walking Dead special way back in episode 2. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah.